Luke here with the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel and this week's video has not quite gone according to plan. Jacob accused me of child abuse. I got win over. Rebecca's left me. My health has taken a turn. And my camping trip to Wyoming didn't quite go according to plan. Here, hop on in, buddy. You like this trail? No. Is it really bumpy? Yeah, too bumpy. Do we turn around and go back now or should we look and see maybe it gets a little bit better? What do you think? Turn it back. Do you want to turn back? Yes. Okay. I see tons of bumps up ahead. Yeah, it is really bumpy, isn't it? All right, bud, we're going to turn around and go back, okay? Oh no! Did you fall out? I got ran over. You got ran over? I don't think you got ran over. I think you just fell off. Ah, uh, here, hop up. Hey Jake, do you want to go camping or you want to go home? Home. Home? Okay. I understand. <laughs> You want to go do something else besides camping? Yes. The camping trip was a bit of a bust and little Jacob was not having fun. So if I ever want him to go with me again, we need to pivot. Well, me and Jacob are in the city of Seward and he really wants to see the aquarium. So we're going to the Sea Life Center. Does that sound like fun, Jake? Yes. Yeah. These are big ones. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. Anyway. Jacob, was that fun? Yes. Going like a breeze, country road. Mm -hmm. Daddy went over my legs. <laughs> well, who wants me to make some dinner? Because I got some camping food that needs to get eaten. Are you hungry? Yeah. Would you like a big juicy hamburger? You like it, babe? I love it. This is the perfect burger. Thank you. That's that's what Jacob asked for. So catch up on the side. Jacob's the one who asked me to make burgers too, which is. <laughs> Tom, you like your burger? Good. Nathan, Nathan's upstairs barfing. Couple rules with making good burgers. First off, iceberg lettuce is the lamest vegetable in the world. Use butterhead lettuce, romaine, spring greens, anything but iceberg. Number two, toast the buns with butter and a little bit of garlic powder if you want. Cook it until the red sweat just barely stops coming out. You don't want to overdo it. Hey Jake, you want to roast marshmallows? Mm -hmm. All right, let's build a fire. Oh Tommy, you grab some sticks for us? Mm -hmm. Thank you, bud. Go faster. Gotta do you gotta that. do just... much harder. Oh, there you go, got it. Okay, you wanna take it here? And they'll put it, shove it in the bottom there. I think you did it, bud. Move this over here. 
So we've got marshmallows with chocolate inside and then we've got chocolate vanilla pudding cups. So we're gonna take some chopsticks and free, dang it. Okay. <laughs> the jello kind of cools the outside just doesn't burn your mouth. It tastes really good. Okay, now it's cold. <laughs> Look at that. Thanks, Dad. You like the jello on it? <laughs> Come on, hold You guys like your sugar with a little extra Carson gin in it? Yes. We got, we got, we can hook you up. I've got uh, Chinese uh, marshmallow sticks. Yes. <laughs> what, what do you think of the Jello? Is that a nice touch? Absolutely fantastic. All right, you guys take care. Thank you so much. <laughs> Roasting marshmallows with the neighbors. That's nice. Yeah. Oh. Let's, get in, let's get in our sleeping bags and watch a movie, shall we? Well, we're off to a little bit of a messy start today. Nathan's been throwing up and Jacob has explosive, uncontrollable diarrhea. It smells so bad in here. I took the first pass. It was rough. <laughs> Underwear is cheap, people. Just throw it away. Oh. Parenting is not for the squeamish. It smells better. It smells better, yeah. Well, it looks like the outdoor boys are gonna be inside today. So that's all right, I got a lot of work to do. Jake, did you go to the bathroom? Yeah. Did you poop your pants? No. Good. All right guys, welcome to my workstation. When I'm not out camping or in the garage cleaning, this is what I'm doing. In order to get you guys one video a week, I work about 70 to 80 hours a week on average. For one 20 minute video, there's usually two days of filming, one day of editing, one day of packing and getting everything ready, one day of cleanup and downloading and all that, and then also planning. About five, five, six days to do one 20 minute video. And when I do these really big videos, it takes a whole lot more time. So not too long ago, I posted a one hour video of our entire trip of the Southwest United States. So that video took about two, two and a half months of work and preparation. You guys doing okay in here? Yeah. Yeah, that's clean. That's a good sign. Yay. So right now I'm working on editing a trip we took to Hawaii. We spent two weeks filming in Hawaii and it was a wonderful trip, except that my camera got cracked underwater and the SD card got compromised with salt water and it caused me to lose three days worth of footage. And after spending $3,000 on data recovery services, I got about 30% of my footage back. So now I have one terabyte of data and it's gonna take me an entire week to edit it. But in addition to that, I'm missing major portions of the entire video and I've gotta figure out how to piece that together to make some sort of sense out of it. I've been picking at this a little bit at a time for almost two months now. Now the worst part about this is that I injured my right arm a couple years ago building my log cabin. And whenever I sit here at my desk and work this mouse and keyboard for hours on end, it flares up and hurts bad. But when I feel like I need a little bit of break from editing, I'll work on planning future videos. I've got almost half my videos planned out for the entire summer. Me and Nathan are gonna rent a boat and try to fish and camp on the inside passage of Alaska. We got a two and a half week trip to Japan that I'm like 95% done planning. This morning I spent about three hours working on renewing our global entry and TSA pre-check for the entire family. So that's been a major headache and it's not done yet. I'm gonna have to go down to the airport to finish that. So that's a little sneak peek at what it's like behind the scenes to plan out all these videos. Oh, I'm tired. Hey Tom, how was school bud? Good. Hey babe, how you doing? Your kids leaking at all? Hey Nathan, you feeling better? Uh huh. Anything come out? Uh, no. Ah, you must be better. How was school? You guys have a good time at school? Mm -hmm. By you guys, I mean Tommy, because mm -hmm. everyone else was pooping and throwing up. <sighs> oh, I can just feel myself getting a cold. It's gonna be one of those days. <laughs> oh. Well, to make matters worse, today's the day Becca's leaving me. Everyone knew it would happen eventually. Go surprise my mom for her birthday. She doesn't know I'm coming, but I will miss you. So you're you. gonna come back, right? Of course. It's too late for me, Becca. The germs have me. Save yourself. Love you. 
Bye. Oh, alrighty. The next day. I think me and Jacob got a pair of man colds. You know, things on this trip haven't quite gone according to plan. And I thought maybe you guys would enjoy seeing some other trips where things didn't quite go according to plan. Here's some footage from a winter camping trip to Wyoming that me and the family took. It was fun, but it didn't quite go right. Luke here with the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel. I'm here in the mountains of Wyoming and it's negative 27 degrees and I'm camping. Woo! All right, Becca, we packing? We're packing. Let's do this thing. It's hard to get in. All right. Can you hold that? I do, you're in luck. Wow. That is really good. Here, come on in, guys. Oh, I don't need coats. You want to kick off your shoes? It's warm. I can't believe it. It's warm. Okay, nice. <laughs> hey, guys, what do you think? Do you like this? I love this. Well, we spent about six hours in the car, but we finally made it to Togwadi Lodge here in Brand, Wyoming, and it is bitterly cold outside, and it is supposed to drop another 20 degrees. Oh, oh, yeah, let me get some snuggles here. Yeah. Oh. That is not even low def. We gotta go to dinner. I do. We've laid here too long. Get dressed, get dressed. All right, let's go. Everybody out, everybody out. Got a nice little buffalo burger here, yeah? Not too bad. That was good. All right, thanks. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get everyone to bed. We got a lot of snow machining to do. <laughs> get to bed. We got a lot of snow machining to do in the morning. Get to bed. All right, guys, we'll see you in the morning. We're going to have a lot of fun. Good morning, everybody. I don't want to go. I hate cocoa minutes. All right, should we go outside and see what the thermometer says? Yeah, it is negative 22. I can always tell when it's below negative 15 because when you breathe in, it makes the boogers in your nose freeze. Okay, car doesn't want to start. We'll just go to walk. There you go. You want to scoot in so other people can sit. Oh there. my goodness. Now we gotta, you gotta eat up, build up fat reserves. Mmm, mm. hot chocolate bacon. Mm. You want me to go warm up the pickup truck and bring it around? Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're gonna see if we can get the truck started this time. Woo! Look at that, that's my gas pedal all the way to the floor. It's only doing 2,000 RPMs. She is sluggish, but she's going. Hey, good looking. You want to ride? Is it cold outside? Mm, yes. It's so cold that it makes me angry. Oh, check it out. It's negative 27. Oh. Well, my kids may not ever go outside again. They are not a fan of this. <laughs> and we really don't have our best gear either. So it's, it's all of our really good gears in Alaska. So I am going to go and get all bundled up, all of my gear, all the hand warmers, and uh, we're going to do a little snow machining. <laughs> all right.
weiter. How you doing, Jorm? Good. Oh, get those boots off. Get those boots off. Maybe yeah. I undo the laces first. All right, Nate, come on. Get dressed, get dressed. You ready? Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, open the door there. Yay. All right, should we go get some lunch? Let's go. We were originally going to go and snow machine out into the mountains and camp for two days, but uh, the snow machine company said, oh, no, you can't do that, even though I talked to them beforehand. So we're just going to kind of have to do a plan B. And I can't do plan Bs on an empty stomach, so I'm going to go get some lunch with the family. We're just going to see what happens. Oh, that's him right there. <laughs> yeah, it's cold out there, isn't it? It looked like one of our boys just shed their skin like a snake. Look yeah. at that. Well, I got lunch out of the way. I think it's time to go camping. I need to start packing up. I love you. Be safe. Mm -hmm. It is so cold. Be careful. <laughs> I love you. Oh! Be safe. Mm. Stay warm. I... Bye bye. So I ended up sending the snow machines back early, canceling my rental. And uh, I'm going to go snowshoeing. I'm going to just rely on my own two feet today. I'm actually glad to be doing a little walking because it is bitterly cold. It hurts your lungs and teeth to breathe the air without a mouth covering. It's an aggressively cold day. I think I'll head off that direction. There's some fluffy, powdery snow. I can also almost stay on top of the snow, but my backpack makes me just a hair too heavy. Check this out, I got an owl hole. See those prints in the snow right there? The owls have such great hearing, they can hear the mice burrowing under the snow and they'll swoop down and pluck them through the top of the snow. You can see where his wings hit the snow. You know the phrase, fast is slow and slow is fast? If I go slowly, I don't sink as much and it takes a lot less effort and time. I try to be more aggressive. I sink way down. Originally, the whole family was gonna come camping with me. We're gonna have a nice family winter camp out. But we had a storm come in and it dropped to negative 27. And my wife doesn't do negative 27. So her and the kids are warm in the cabin. Yeah, my wife's always been the smart one. You know, this is looking like a pretty nice spot to camp. A lot of trees to block the wind, but not too many trees. So there's lots of nice flat spots to set up a tent. You can maybe right there. When you get a whole bunch of fresh snow in very cold conditions, you get this champagne powder that we have here. And it just doesn't have any structure to it. It's just fluffy. So I'm using my snowshoes to pack down a little platform for my tent. Give me a place to work without wallowing in the snow all the time. I could dig down, but I'm afraid I'm gonna hit all these saplings and those could put a hole in the bottom of my tent. So I'm just gonna compact the snow instead. This tent I'm using is made by Nemo, and it's a four-season backpacking two-person tent. It's kind of rare to get a lightweight, cold-weather tent. It's not the warmest tent in the world, but it's one of the few cold-weather tents that'll fit in the backpack. getting all my gear ready and just kneeling on this ice freezes me to death. So I just sit here and I got my sleeping bag and using it as a kneeling pad. 
And just little tricks like that will do wonders to keeping you warm. Self-inflating mats really don't work at these temperatures. The plastic gets too stiff. So you really end up having to blow it all up. Most name brand mats come with these inflating sacks nowadays. And using these inflating sacks will save you a lot of energy. My camera set up for filming at night. Nothing more wonderful than taking off your gloves at negative 20 to touch metal GoPro mounts. I need to take a second to get feeling back in my hands. My fingers aren't working so hot. Got some unleaded gas in my bottle here. Get some more snow. Oh, a nice hot cup of tea sounds pretty good to me. I'm gonna sit my herbal tea right there in the pot so it doesn't cool off too quickly while it's steeping. Oh. But I think I'm gonna boil up some more water and get some dinner cooking. Spilled gasoline all over this log. You know, gasoline can be pretty dangerous, but at this temperature, it's not that volatile. It just doesn't want a light. See, look at this. <laughs> Have you ever seen gasoline ignite so lazily? All right, for dinner I've got some coconut chickpea curry and boiling bag rice. It's delicious, it's cheap, it's easy. There we go. Just let that sit for about 11 minutes and we're good to go. All right. When it's minus 20, you gotta eat your food quick, otherwise it's gonna be cold. Oh, that was delicious, but my hands are frozen. It's so cold out here, I can only work with my hands for about three, four minutes before they're just absolutely numb. And I gotta pull them into my gloves and warm them up. I'll tell you what, I'm getting pretty cold. I'm gonna make up a hot water bottle, try to warm myself up a little bit. Oh man, look at that. The water in my pot froze solid just in that short time. It is cold. Come on. Look at that, my water bottle's frozen. It's made the end bulge outwards. It's gonna take some work to get this all thawed out. There we go, see if we can melt that. Can't believe Becca and the kids didn't want to join me on this camp out. <laughs> Wonder if they're having any fun without me. I think I might try to make a little warming fire. It can't be much, there's not a lot of dead wood around here. And I got a cotton ball with some Vaseline on it and some wood shaving soaked in paraffin. We're gonna put that right under there. When it's cold, nothing wants to light on fire. Everything is cold. There's just not enough big fuel around here to build a proper warming fire, but a little something like this can be enough just to get the feeling back in your fingers and get your temperature up just enough that you can hop into your sleeping bag with a warm body instead of a cold one. You can get a hot fire with all these little sticks. You'll just spend all of your time tending it and gathering firewood. It'll just burn through the wood so quick. Oh, that feels good. 
Oh, that's nice. Oh. oh, I'm using my meager pile of firewood as a seat here. I can kneel on it and not have my body straight on the ice. It helps a lot. I'll tell you what, guys, I'm starting to have some real doubts about this camp out. The temperature's just dropping and it could get down to negative 30 tonight. It's a lot colder than I was anticipating and I'm just not prepared for that. You know, I don't think I'm gonna die or anything, but I think I'm just gonna be shivering in my sleeping bag all night long. And you know what, I'm getting too old for that stuff. You know, I think I'm just gonna leave my gear all right here. Another one's gonna bother it tonight. And I'm just gonna hike out of here. You know, without my backpack on, I know I can make pretty good time and I can follow my tracks really easily out of these woods, even when in the dark. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I've been boiling this pot for 45 minutes. I've used up almost half my fuel and it's still not even close to boiling. It's barely melted. I am not gonna have boiling water tonight. Well, one nice thing about this is it's a lot easier to hike out than it is to hike in. I've already broken trail and my path freezes up as it gets cold. Hey. I'm cold, huh? Yeah, go yeah, I gotta get my snowshoes off. Oh, the weather was too cold and my wife's too hot. Yay. Just a combination for coming home. <laughs> Just things weren't clicking right. I'm gonna put this camera down and get some of these clothes off. Oh. Good morning, family! Oh, this was so much better than hypothermia. All right, well, I'm up and about and I've gotta get all these clothes back on my body and go hike back out get my stuff. All right, everything looks okay. Let me give you a closer look at this tent. There's a couple things that make a four season tent, a four season tent. First off, instead of a bunch of mesh, it's solid material. You don't have nearly as much ventilation. Additionally, the rainfly will go all the way down to the ground. None of this like mini skirt rainfly nonsense. Another thing you'll notice with four season tents is they're small. The smaller the tent, the warmer the tent. Yeah, this video has been kind of an interesting one. A lot of prep and planning goes into these videos. I've been working on this one for two months. But me and the family have had a good time despite all the chaos and we're determined not to let it ruin our fun. So we're gonna try to get out of here early and see if we can't do some more fun stuff. Ice possible. Yeah, you think? I thought you would. All right, has everyone had a good time? Yeah. Yeah. I'm jumping on. Oh, check it out, there's a badger. There's I see him. See him? He's right there. Oh, he just shook. He just shook up all the dirt. Everybody who was excited about seeing a badger, raise your hand. Yeah! All right. Oh, guys, yeah. So I got a chocolate Nutella banana bread. Got a maple scone. Eggnog orange zest pastry of some sort. It's good. Oh, this is bread pudding French toast. I think that's apple syrup and honey butter right there. I, I think, I, oh wow, how many meals did I buy? Okay, I panic bought a few things. It was really crowded in there. Yep, that's salmon locks, pickled vegetables. Only a second right onto East Pearl Avenue. I think next time we're in Jackson Hole, we might have to hit Persephone's again. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed these videos and got a little bit of a sneak peek at what things are like. And uh, hopefully if your family camping trips don't quite go according to plan, you won't feel so bad. It happens to all of us. But at any rate, I'll see you guys next Saturday. Click subscribe and all that. Yeah. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button and you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching.